like when Michael Jackson was going through his thing and he was alive and, you know, he was going through the whole thing of being accused of child abuse and so on and so forth. And Steve yeah. Harvey, you've heard him on television talk about how yeah, he was talking sure. to yeah. Michael and he said, man, what you need, you need to go to church. We need to go to First AME Church and I'm going to take you over there. And Steve came with Michael and his entourage and his legal team and everything. And they're there. And, and Reverend Murray had given them permission to come because some people, even at our church, were like, should we be opening the doors? Because maybe Michael did do this or maybe Michael didn't do that or whatever. Right. But Reverend Murray was such a strong man and outreach and everything. He said, we will welcome him here because maybe we can do something to help him, not just sure. in his fight, but in his spiritual life with him and God. Well, they came. Here's a part of the story that's funny. Pastor says to me, he says, I want you in my office when Michael and them show up because you're in that radio business and I know you know everybody. And uh, he said, and didn't I hear you used to work for them? I said, yeah, I, I used to work for Joe Jackson Productions at one period of time for like about eight months, close to a year between jobs. See, something you and I haven't talked about. Yeah. And, and my friend Dick Klein, once again, he became president of Polygram Records. And yeah. when I was like sort of between gigs, but I was over there working at KMPC, working part time, but I was also doing some stuff with Joe from the standpoint of his company. And I was working specifically with Michael, with Janet, with Randy, with LaToya, and with um, uh, Rebe, the oldest daughter. What happened was when they came to the church, Reverend said, I want you to be in my office. So they got, you know, I got all the bodyguards and all that nonsense. And so Michael's in the office with Reverend Murray. And so I come walking in and then Michael says, Walt, is that you? And I was like, yeah. He said, I, I heard you in ministry, but I didn't know what church. So he comes and gives me a big hug. And I said, oh, man, it's so good to see you. You know, I'm glad you'd come on over here. Blah, blah, blah. You know, and Reverend, man, he's sitting there kind of like, wow, look at my boy. He knows everybody. Because <laughs> you know, Reverend Murray, when I first got there, he's like, he said, you know, I don't even know who the hell you are. And he talked like that. He said, I don't know who the hell you are. He said, but Reverend Jack Johnson called me from Chicago. He said, and everybody in this church knows who you are but me. He said, but I don't listen. He said, I listen to KNX. He said, I listen to the news. He said, I don't right. listen to no music, <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was hilarious, right? He said, yeah, no wonder I got you on my staff. <laughs> and so, then, so then Michael said, you know, when it's time or whatever, you know, let Walt, you know, introduce me and so on and so forth, because he didn't yeah. speak or anything. But it was uh, it was just an interesting thing. And then they went through that whole court thing and then he was exonerated and it went on. And yeah. so when he passed, just just broke my heart because he was a nice person. Well, the fans are already here waiting to greet the king of pop when he shows up for his legal battle. But ahead of today's courtroom showdown, I had a chance to visit with Michael Jackson. ABC News accompanied Michael Jackson for a rare public appearance as he joined Sunday worshipers at Los Angeles' first AME church. Michael, our prayers for you during your time of travail. Because of a gag order, Jackson couldn't comment on the case, but the notoriously private pop star spoke with us about his morning of prayer. What brought you here today? Oh, to worship and uh, see the children. Did you enjoy the service? I loved it. This is one of the nation's most prominent African-American congregations, and here Jackson found unconditional support on the eve of a crucial legal face-off. What do we ask? Justice. Yes, Jesus. Equity. Yes. Healing. Yes. Amen. Jackson allowed ABC News exclusive access as he toured the church Sunday school, surprising preteen fans with autographs and answering questions. Throughout the day, Jackson was flanked by brother Randy and defense attorney Tom Mesereau, who is a founder of the church's legal clinic. Mesereau will be center stage in court this morning, grilling Jackson's longtime adversary, prosecutor Tom Snedden. Jackson's attorneys have maintained that Snedden conducted an illegal search during the investigation of the pop star, and they want key evidence thrown out. Pastor Cecil Murray says his congregants have a strong interest in this case. The majority of the people 
are just on watch, looking to see that there's a level playing field, looking to see that it is not his celebrity on trial, nor his color, but just the facts of the case. Jackson will get even more support today as his brothers, sisters Janet and Latoya, and his parents join him in court to watch the questioning of Tom Snedden. Said you wanna be starting son. Hey, you got to be starting son. Hey, I said you wanna be starting son. Hey, hey, you got to be starting son. Hey, it's too high to get over. Yeah, yeah. You're too low to get under. Yeah, yeah. You're stuck in a middle. Yeah, yeah. And the pain is thunder. Yeah, hey, yeah. My mama's hey. Mama's side of my goose. I watch your mama's hey. Mama's side of my goose. I got another one. Hey, I said A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. Or oh, simple as Don't A, B, C. That's how easy hey. love can be. My mama say, Mama side of my goose. What your mama say? Mama side of my goose. Mama say, Mama side of my goose. Mama say, Mama side of my goose. I, know what this I want to rock with you. Yeah. Oh.